Apollo 6, the last unmanned flight of the Saturn V test series, barely got into orbit. Here's the story. On April 4, 1968, the second Saturn V ever to fly left pad 39A at 7 a.m. Eastern Time on a full lunar dress rehearsal before committing men to this thunderous machine. Its mission was to get into Earth orbit and then relight its third stage engine to go all the way to the moon and back. If this test was successful, it would qualify the vehicle for manned lunar flight. Shortly after liftoff, the huge Saturn V started to vibrate up and down its long axis in a motion known as pogo. The vibrations became so violent that sections of the adapter that connected the spacecraft to the third stage were torn away. It turns out that the long main fuel lines that feed the five first stage engines were singing like a pipe organ, stimulating resonant frequencies in the rocket that reached plus or minus 0.6 Gs, far above the design rating. After staging, the pogo stopped, only to be replaced with another problem. At 412 seconds into the mission, the flight control computer shut down engine number two, followed a few seconds later by engine number three. Engine number two did have a problem. Engine number three was running perfectly, but the computer shut it down anyway due to a wiring error. This left only three of the five second stage engines operating. A three engine condition was considered by the engineers to be unstable. However, the stage plugged along, burning for another 58 seconds longer than planned to make up for the low thrust. By the time the third stage was ignited, the rocket was higher than planned because of the extended second stage burn. The computer compensated by pointing the nose straight at the ground. Apollo 6 actually made it into orbit, thrusting backwards. After two orbits, Apollo 6 had another trick up its sleeve. The engine that was supposed to launch it into a trajectory to the moon failed to fire. At this point, mission control fell back to an alternate mission, basically a copy of what the first unmanned Saturn V flight, Apollo 4, had flown less than six months earlier. Believe it or not, after diagnosing and applying fixes to all the problems with the flight of Apollo 6, NASA used the next Saturn V to take a crew all the way into lunar orbit and back. Apollo 8 was a huge success and proved that NASA had a good chance of meeting the lunar landing goal before the decade was out. Amazing. <laughs>